Yeah, and then we're off to Minden, Minden Ontario. Nice. What's in Minden? Ray's place. Oh, f is that is that like a reptile place? No, it's an off-road uh, resort. Oh, that's <laughs> a race place. It's like a reptile. Dude. No, it's like a serious off-roaders, uh, like rock crawling and stuff like that before side-by-sides, right? Like jeeps and trucks. Oh, yeah. That'd be neat. Yeah, so we're meeting up with a big group. Roger, Jay's birthday this weekend, so he put it all together. When's your birthday, Jay? Tomorrow? Today. Was oh, it it's today? Yeah. Oh, happy birthday, Thank buddy. You, okay. you know oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, draw, I saw another guy do that. I think that uh, adrenaline junkie prod, he's coming on down. I guess so, but we got other issues now. Oh, you're puking. You blew, a, you blew your oh crap! What? So it should be. Well, I can't, I can't, I can't drive my side by side because that devalues it. Yeah, I know. She's done sold now, <laughs> right? So, when are you taking her into bay? Um, I'm not sure yet. Dan's trying to. So Wes has been hunting, so. Yeah. Dan just wants to touch base with Wes. He's already got it all figured out. What he wants to do, and he's like, we're gonna. This thing, like tomorrow, yeah. basically what he's told me. Yeah, right on. And because uh, I said, well, Dan, I want to order these parts, but I don't want to, you know, like, I'm, I'm nervous here. He's like, Let's order them. Brand new <laughs> Renegade XMR 2022. Right? Identical model of the year, so yeah, right on. It won't, it won't look like yours, but I'm done. No doubt. No but, doubt. And I'm sure ours won't so, look exactly stock for long either. No. No, <laughs> that's right. It's pretty sad. You're gonna take a brand new four wheeler, strip right apart, and put a pile of parts back on it. That's it. That's so, it. yeah, I wanted to. So the parts, the shit I ordered, I ordered uh, 32 inch assassinators, yeah. brand new 14 inch blocked out rims. Um, I didn't do bead locks just because Dan said a lot of times he's come out to the scene and the f bead locks the tires were on the ground. Well, lots of guys right. have the issue, right? So. Yeah. So bead, I bead, locks, her, bead locks unfortunately require maintenance. Right. So there's that. I ordered uh, farm mounting floorboards. I'm getting the pegs powdered and the, the plates underneath. I'm getting them powdered orange. Now, what did you pay eight grand for, Monsters of the North? Well, well here we go. <laughs> I ordered a QSC, the brand new Revac QSC primary, the STM secondary. Yeah. Um, the uh, farm mounting floorboards, yep. the halos, rock lights, uh, tires and rims. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, um, rad relocate. Rad relocate. I went the, to the aluminum one that I they have. Yep. And I'm going to get, he's giving me a discount if I rock his logo, the MOTN logo in the, in the grill. Okay. But the, they're, they're bricks, they can be exchanged, I guess. Yep. So I'll start with that. I'm gonna get that 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 uh, the radio cape bumper is all aluminum. The that one is actually lighter than the factory Can Am one. Right. So I wasn't gonna do the radio cape, but then I talked to a couple guys. I talked to Austin Cruiser, and he says, "You plan on ripping this thing?" And I said, "Well, I got guys back here that are fucking tearing with them. They're not having issues." But anyways, I ordered it because of the weight savings. Yeah. I ordered the rear rack for it. Yeah. Rear rack. I ordered uh, the steering stem brace, handlebar risers, the OMD gear shifter or pistol, or they call it a knuckle shifter. Yeah. Gas cap. Well, I'll be honest with you, Cody. Like, I think I'm the only one that I've known that's run no rad relocate, not had an issue. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, even Don Newton, he thought he could do it. No. He just put one on. He just had some issues as well. So it's like, I mean, you got to be. Well, you're, you're, you're keeping up on the maintenance too, right? Like this, you would do like I am. When you're done riding, you wash the f***ing rat out. This is it. And I mean, not just wash it out. I mean, thoroughly clean it between every f***ing ride. Right. I won't be f***ed over by it. And I've never been f***ed over by it, but I'm extremely meticulous, you know? Right. And, uh, and I guess, uh, <laughs> Yeah, and then I ordered the SLG Quiet Core Series exhaust. Yes. It was more money than the the uh, the, uh, the performance series, but being I can turn the uh, Quiet Core into a performance series. Yes. It gives you the option to remove 
Yeah. The Spark Arrestor and the the Quiet Core. Yeah. And what else did I order? I ordered a uh, Revco's got a deal on uh, the PowerVision three tuner. Yeah. So I'm getting. I got. I'm in talking to RVS. Yeah. And he's got a tune out that's called Mr. Nasty. Okay. And he says it's for full system, full flow exhaust systems, which SLG, that's what theirs is. And um, he says it, you're gonna, he upped the power, the rev limiter up two grand from factory. He says you don't need it. He said it's probably gonna be a lot like, I told him your situation you had, he's like, there's a thousand RPMs of absolutely pointless yeah. RPMs. He's like, it's just there for noise. He's like, that's all it is. He, yeah. said, he, he originally wasn't doing that to the tunes, but he said there's got a lot of guys out there that were... That just want that want, sound, yeah. He said they want that noise, but it's not doing anything for them. Exactly. It just, it right? just hold, it, it holds it there longer, he said. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. And it, it, it definitely, you know, like, there's, there's a couple advantages and then there's disadvantages, right? Like, I can hold RPM high, eight, eight grand, no problem without any bog at a full load. Yeah. But anything above it, I'm not getting any performance. It's right. just easier to hold RPM, I think, you know? Yeah. But it does so, work, it does work good. Yeah, so and it's, it's $100 for the tune. So yeah. I'm already at, the tuner was cheap. It yeah. was, I don't know how they, like I called uh, Dialjet as well as HMF. Yeah. And they said they have no idea how Revco was selling it at that. Well, how cheap was it? It's 436 bucks. Yeah, they're not making like very much at all. You know, and 500 from us. Yeah, so the there's that, and then I'm gonna pay. Now, I don't know if it comes low, I think it comes free with two standard tunes. Oh, it'll come with but anything that DinoJet offers. Yeah, so I'm gonna actually go into uh, DinoJet's website. Yeah. Once I plug it in and I, I uh, marry it to the, the new bike, yeah, yeah. I'll take it, put it on DinoJet's website, and he said it'll pull up any available tune. Yeah, exactly. For that machine. Yeah. But then I also talked to RVS, and he said I'll build you a tune that you're gonna fall in love with. Yeah, right on. Because I know he built a wicked tune for my RZR. Yep. I'm sure he'd do the same thing with the with the. Uh, well, yeah. they can, right? They can tailor and customize some parameters for you for your style. You know what I mean? It sets it a dip, uh, slightly different than the rest, right? Yeah. So yeah, there's a pile of shit of the halos, bar mudding floorboards. Well, sounds got, like it's going to be a pretty killer build here, man. Yeah, it's going to be. Uh, and I asked Dan. I said. What uh, what kind of what are we looking at for warranty? Like you just don't worry about that. We'll take care of you. Because oh, yeah. I was concerned about warranty. He type on. You just drive it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right on, man. So, but what else? What are some more? Because I know there's some other shit you had said um, just to help it breathe better. I well, I would certainly go out of my way and message up uh, Custom Motor Quad and get them get yourself one of those billet with the OMC gasket airbox lids. Okay. That's a definite must have. It's OMD? It's got, it's, it's a billet, um, and he'll customize it for you if you want to with an etching. It's a billet uh, airbox lid with the OMC gasket. Oh, uh, okay. You know, the orange one that seals yep. great? Yeah. Which I highly, I highly recommend because it's definitely better than the rubber gasket that RJ put on his. Yeah. And then, uh, what was I going to say? What are you guys using? I see, a couple times I've seen those things on top of this, the uh, snorkel box or the snorkel horn. Yeah, you don't want that. Does it work? Well, it works, but it allow bigger chunks to go right up on in there. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't want that. No, the frog skin <laughs> works great. The only reason I put mine back on is because I lost my frog skin. Oh, okay. And I just didn't uh, have time or forgot about ordering up another one. Yeah. But the frog skin actually works better in my opinion. Because, I mean, otherwise, after every big skag rip, you got to clean that air filter. Right. Because you'll find a big splatch or splotch of shit in there, right? So. Yeah. 
And then that's One. also allowing it to go into your clutches, right? Right. Nobody wants a big slap of mud onto the clutches. No. I'm oh. pretty pumped to see what it's going to look like. Uh, the ride will be. Officer Cruiser was sending me pictures of his all dirt dressed up, and it looks nice. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Well, Cody, I'm pretty excited, man, for you to get this bike in bay, man. And I'm going to have to go down there and make sure I'm there when uh, when you pick it up for the unveil. Oh, yeah, buddy. I can't we'll, wait. Uh, we'll do the trade and do. Hell yeah, man. The old Razor's going into Bay Marine. <laughs> hey, we filmed, we filmed picking that thing up. Now we're going to film dropping it off. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Man. That's what I told Dan Hick. So give me a reason to get rid of this RCR. Without a doubt.